So good day everyone. I hope okay naman kayong lahat. Um, so as promised during the last um, unboxing ng GoPro Hero 9. So we have one more unboxing this week. So we will be unboxing a package naman from Quadlock. So later on uh, as we're doing the unboxing, so share ko na din yung mga reasons as to why ito yung napili ko na cellphone holder. Alright, let's do this! Alright, here's a first look inside the box. So first one is the motorcycle handlebar mount. Quadlock is the most convenient and secure smartphone mount for motorcycles and scooters. Our sleek mount designs give you the flexibility to position your smartphone in a convenient and visible location. Our patented dual stage lock allows you to securely attach and detach your smartphone in seconds. Quad lock mounts are super strong and will hold your smartphone securely over the roughest terrain. So next is yung vibration dampener. Actually, kaya ako ng quad lock is mainly because of this. So I've heard a lot of stories na nasisira yung camera ng phone because of the vibration of the motorcycle. So parang common scenario siya. So before, ito yung gamit ko na cellphone holder. Okay naman. Um, very sturdy naman siya. Mukhang secure naman yung phone. Kaya nga lang ayoko nang isugal in the long run because pag nasira yung camera ng phone, mas malaking gastusan pa yun. So for me, good investment na tong vibration dampener na to. Further protect your smartphone while riding your motorcycle with the quad lock vibration dampener. Featuring a dual chassis suspension system with precision engineered silicone grommets, the vibration dampener absorbs vibrations to protect your smartphone's camera. The quad lock vibration dampener reduces over 90% of high frequency vibrations produced by motorcycles. Working with vibration specialists in automotive and defense, the vibration dampener was put through extreme performance testing. And last would be the iPhone case. So the reason why merong iPhone case is because sa quad lock, um, kailangan you're also using a compatible case para magwork yung quad lock system. All right, so let's start with the iPhone case. All right, so first impression, hmm, okay hawakan, um, soft touch material. Um, very minimalist design so kahit ibulsa natin yung phone hindi siya bulky and of course ito yung binabayaran dyan um, yung patented dual stage lock system so ito yung reason kung bakit pag naka-quad lock ka quick and easy lang yung pag remove and pag attach ng cellphone dun sa holder but at the same time very secure so even in high speed confident tayo na safe na safe yung phone natin and another thing, um, this case is made out of polycarbonate and TPU material. So, meron din drop protection yung phone natin dito. Alright, so next natin is the vibration dampener. So, as per quad lock, itong vibration dampener na to will reduce over 90% of the high frequency vibrations produced by motorcycles. And yung high frequency vibrations na yun, yun yung actually nakasira ng camera ng phone. Okay, last one, yung handlebar mount. Alright. So, ito yung pinaka-head ng handlebar mount. So dito natin ilalagay or dito natin ikakabit later on yung vibration dampener. And ito naman yung blue lever for the quick release. And here's the extension arm. Ito yung part that will be attached dun sa handlebar. And then dito natin ilalagay yung, yung pinaka head. So ganyan siya. We also have additional bar spacers. 
So talaga mo custom fit natin yung mount sa handlebar natin. So depending on your bike, uh, merong specific na, na spacer para ma-fit nyo ng maayos yung sa handlebar. So yung sizes ng spacers, ito yung 22mm, ito naman yung 28mm, and then andito na yung 25mm. Alright, i-fit na natin yung phone. Alright, so for the next part, install na natin sa bike. So we will now install the handlebar mount. Ito yung by default na nasa mount, 25mm. Tingnan natin kung kasya. Mayroon siyang clearance eh. So let's try the smaller spacer. So let's try the 22mm. Ayan, snug fit. Ayan, mas okay ito. Yeah, perfect. Since nakakabit na yung spacer natin, we can now test fit yung, yung clamp and yung extension arm on top. Alright? Pero huwag nyo munang i-over-tighten ha. Para medyo ma-adjust-adjust pa natin while positioning it. Iyan, Ayan o, di ba? Nagagalaw pa natin. Next step would be, ikakabit na natin yung vibration dampener on top of the extension arm. So, meron na siyang built-in screw. Ia-align nyo na lang. And then, tighten. Basta huwag nyo lang muna higpitan lahat. Para we can still ad make adjustments. And now the mounting head. So let's do a test fit mo na, all right? Just to make sure na hindi sa sabit or hindi sa sayad yung phone yon with any part of the bike. Ayan. Okay. Okay. So okay naman yung clearance. We can also try this position. Ito yung usually nakikita ko eh. So, pwede natin i-adjust yung extension arm. Ayan. So, ganito naman yung position pag naka-horizontal yung extension arm. Parang okay naman yung view when driving, no? So, I think we'll go with this one. So, since ito na yung position natin, again, before nyo higpitan lahat, make sure na wal hindi siya sumasabit sa any part of your bike when turning the handlebar. Yun, I think we're good. Ayos. Alright, so since okay na tayo sa position, time to tighten all the screws. Ayan, siguro hand tight lang natin ha. Huwag naman sobra. Again, hand tight lang. Okay, last yung mounting head. Okay, yan. Installed na siya. Alright. So, turn your phone around 45 degrees muna. And then, push and tilt. May rinig nyo naman yung click eh. That's it. So, removing the phone is even easier. So, kita nyo tong blue lever na to, di ba? So, press it down. Twist. That's it. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Okay. So, thanks mga idol. Always ride safe. Peace out.